how to plan your wedding on the internet. Hi, we're Rebecca and Laura from Bride Society and today we are talking all about how to plan your wedding on the internet. Um, by which we were thinking about all the kind of um, free or budget friendly like wedding resources that are maybe out there online that you can use to help you plan and execute your wedding more effectively. Because yeah, times have moved on yeah. and we can do this now. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to talk about are wedding websites and apps. Now this kind of covers a whole huge amount that's possible with these wedding websites and apps. So you can create your own wedding website to share with your guests if you're wanting to put lots of details about the wedding, like if there's specific information your guests need to know, it's a great way to pass that information on without having to like send them a book worth of paper of an invitation. Um, so this could be things like accommodation recommendations, timings, locations, um, parking, all sorts of things like that. Um, so there are websites like gettingmarried.co.uk, hitch.co.uk, WeddingWire, lots of others um, which will allow you to do that for free or at a small cost if you want some extra features that they mm. offer. Um, but yeah, they're really easy to use. There's lots of templates that you can just personalise, upload a photo of the two of you, and it looks like a professional website. Yeah. Um, as part of these apps and wedding websites, they also might have like budgeting tools, uh, guest list management, RSVP, kind of keeping track of, if you can food preferences, things like that. So there's a wealth of kind of information and useful tools there to help you. Yeah, and you can even often integrate like your gift registry into them if you're having one um, whether that be like with a particular company or in a cash registry where people like can pay directly into an, an account for you and that kind of thing so again it's pay, some pay for options within there some features are free up to a certain number of guests things like that on there. so the different ones for the different things but you can get quite a bit for free yes yeah yeah um and then you've got things that kind of like printables, downloads from places um, where you can basically kind of do a lot of the sort of design work for things like your wedding stationery your, yourself um, and either sort of have those printed professionally, print them yourselves, email them if it's like the invitations or the save the dates and things. Um, so again, wholly on the internet. Um, but yeah, so places like Canva are great for that and again they have a pro version which you can pay for but there's so much on their on their free platform as well so this can as I say be your save the dates, invitations, uh, like menus, thank you cards, um, like your um, order of the day, your seating chart, like there's so much Everything. stationery for yeah. a wedding isn't there? <laughs> and you can do so much of it on there and I use it all the time I really love love Canva um, but you can also get these types of things on like Etsy they have like downloads like templates and stuff that you can customize um, so you, you literally buy them something you're not buying a product so that they'll send you you can get it so you can just download and t tweak yourself um, or places like Zazzle um, again more stationary based maybe mostly like for your invitations again they've got the templates that you can just kind of tweak design add your information yourself and um, so yeah a good online resource that you can really be really hands-on with yourself for the more budget conscious for actual like things like decor outfits accessories things like that you might be looking pre-loved going down that route and Facebook marketplace is a great uh, place for that maybe like Vinted, eBay, where past couples might be wanting to recoup a bit of their <laughs> wedding yeah. spend um, and then you can give that a second life basically, sustainable, budget friendly and you might find some unique things that you perhaps wouldn't have been able to have as part of the wedding that fit perfectly in your vision um, as well. Yeah, yeah, they're just uh, interesting places to look that, yeah. for stuff that you wouldn't naturally <laughs> think of 
yeah right. yeah and then of course the social media which you might on the face of it think well how can social media help me plan my wedding well it really can so it's from whether that be sort of just from gathering ideas but there's like inspiration advice mood boards recommendations there's so many like different aspects that you can gather from social media and so I mean obviously you're watching social media right now Bride Society we are a free wedding resource and obviously there's all our hundreds of videos our website and all the other platforms that we're on that are all there as well so a little bit of self-promotion there <laughs> um like Instagram and I don't just mean our Instagram um you know if you follow other like a lot of bride bees or couples uh, create their own separate like wedding Instagram accounts and there's kind of a community where they're sort of all following each other and and so yes that's providing like inspiration to help each other out but also in terms of like advice people posting like questions on their stories and other brides are helping each other out with their kind of thoughts and things um, and also finding kind of suppliers on there um, you know search by sort of a local hashtag to the area that you're getting married in um, and yeah see what comes up because it might not be what comes up in like google searches and things like that and obviously it's a, you're really able to see from their photographs like their sort of portfolio of work um, yeah and obviously your brides as well will tag companies in the pictures that they've had taken so if you like the style of what you're seeing you can kind of work out who the suppliers were and that kind of things and work it back yeah if you've got your venue booked as well if you follow those them on instagram you can see who've tagged that venue which suppliers have worked there and yeah you get yeah. a feel for who knows the venue who you might be able to rely on what works what they've done in that venue that um, will work maybe work well for you or you can trust to be able to do that and then you can kind of start contacting people um, from that yeah yeah and with Facebook as well like in Facebook groups and um, whether that be wedding focused groups so not you know so it could be quite a broad group but for kind of support and um, general kind of wedding related questions and kind of getting feedback from other people who are either currently also going through it, recently gone through it, um, yeah, rather than kind of maybe sifting through lots of Google hits, yeah. um, and or even more like kind of local Facebook groups if you're looking, I guess, more for kind of supplier type things and recommendations and that kind of thing. Um, and then, of course, there's Pinterest. The big one. <laughs> where would we be? Where would weddings be without Pinterest, really? Like, yeah, the ultimate online mood board, right? Like, to get your ideas for your theme, your vibe, like what you want to kind of the overall look to be, down to the tiniest little aspects of it, from like what kind of food wall you like <laughs> want. You know, so many things that you can just type them in, and this myriad of inspiration will come up, which of course you can pin and save to your own boards and revisit and yeah it's a great tool it's one just with the caveat of you can see lots of incredible things on pinterest yeah. incredible wedding setups which if you're go if you're slightly more on a budget <laughs> won't always work but you can take elements from things you can take color schemes you can yeah it's kind of picking and choosing what works going to work for you your budget um, and your ideas. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think for us, those are they're like the key online wedding tools that are either free to use or sort of not too expensive pay for options on them. Um, are you using any of those? Have you tried any already, or have you found some others that you're finding really invaluable that other couples would benefit from knowing about? If you have, please put those in the comments below. And also so we can check them out as well, because we might <laughs> want to be able to include them in future videos. Um, but yeah, we hope you found something in there helpful. So please like the video if you did, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more content like this, because we're here every Friday.